Today I thought I'd share a little project that I've been working on with an engineer friend of mine. About six months ago, my engineer friend Ben Lewis asked me if I'd like to collaborate on a Talkie Pie project he's been working on. My role will be to develop a 3D printable case for his Talkie Pie unit. So what is Talkie Pie, you might ask? Well, Talkie Pie was originally developed by a guy named Daniel Choate. And if we look at Daniel's description, of Talkie Pie, we read, the Talkie Pie project is for a truly headless mumble client for the Raspberry Pi, utilizing static config and GPIO for status LEDs and a button for push to talk. But Ben explains it this way. Talkie Pie is a Raspberry Pi based walkie talkie that works pretty much the same as a regular walkie talkie with one notable exception. Communication is done over Wi-Fi rather than traditional radio. This means that the communication range is virtually unlimited, so long as you're close to a known Wi-Fi access point. I asked Ben a few questions, and in doing so, created a little demo of how the Talkie Pie unit works. Uh, I, I saw the project on the internet. Uh, it was created by Daniel Chort, and um, I, I thought it was a great idea for my kids, because I remember using walkie-talkies when, when I was a kid and it was, it was a lot of fun but this kind of adds another element to it because instead of being limited to a very short range here you can use walkie-talkies over any, anywhere in the world and so I thought it was a great idea but uh, what I wanted to do was uh, or create something that was made from all off-the-shelf components whereas what Daniel had created required some soldering and a bit of customization. whereas this is based on all off-the-shelf components and so my kids' friends would then be more likely to get them and assemble them with the help of their parents if, if it was a, just a simple case of buying the components and, and uh, connecting them together. So Ben, we've got three lights on top of the actual Talkie Pie unit. Can you run me through what those lights actually are? Sure. So the first light to come on is the red light and that comes on when the Talkie Pie connects to the Mumble server. Uh, the, the Mumble server, the, the Talkie Pie uses a Mumble server to communicate and when, when the Talkie Pie connects to that server, we get a red light to say that we're online. Next, the, a green light will come on if there's someone else in that uh, Mumble server session that uh, if there's someone there to talk to, the green light will come on. And then finally, the, a third light, a blue light will come on when your mic is live and you're transmitting to that Mumble server. Um, and it's important to note that if the blue light is on and you're transmitting, you won't be able to hear anyone else talking, just like a real walkie-talkie would be. So you need to release the button before you can hear the other person speaking. Yeah, that's right. And so just like with a a, um, a real walkie-talkie, after you finish talking, uh, it's typical to say over, and then that lets the other person uh, know that they are then free to talk. So you'd say you'd say hi, how are you going? Over, release the button, and then anybody else in the chat room is then free to talk. Um, for those wondering, Mumble is a voice over IP (VoIP) application primarily designed for use by gamers and is similar to programs such as TeamSpeak. Mumble uses a client-server architecture which allows users to talk to each other via the same server. If you'd like to build your own Talkie Pie, there's a link to Ben's GitHub page below where you can get all the info you'll need as well as the STL file for the case I've designed. And for convenience, I've also included Amazon links below to all of the required components. The Amazon links are purely for convenience and are not affiliate links. Neither Ben nor I make any money if you use those links. In the case of the links below, I've used Amazon Australia links, as I wanted to make sure the components were available on the Amazon Australia site, figuring that if they were readily available here, they'd be easily available on the Amazon US or Europe sites, as we tend to have a more limited selection of products here than overseas. Looking at the pricing on these components, it works out to around $50 Australian per unit, which converts to roughly $36 US to build a Talkie Pie. 
In the case of the speakers, you'll actually get two of them, which means you have enough to make two talky pies. The same applies to the standoff screws. Making two at once is probably not a bad idea because you'll save money and have someone else to talk to. What's unique about Ben's talky pie implementation is that he sources every necessary component and brings them all together in one easy to assemble package without the need for soldering or wiring. So what did I do? My part was to design a simple, functional and easy to assemble case to complete the project. I had free reign to design the case however I liked. That sounds simple enough, but when you break it down, there are quite a few limitations I ended up imposing on myself. I had to come up with a way of pressing the onboard button inside the unit without requiring additional pieces or parts. I had to come up with a simple way of displaying the onboard notification LEDs on the outside of the case. The case design also needed to have tight fit openings for the micro SD card and USB power outlet. It needed to have an opening for the onboard microphone and a way of seeing the boot LED on the circuit board as well as some cooling slots. It also had to be compact, have a press fit assembly and be able to be printed easily and without the need for any supports. For the button, I ended up settling on this design. The button is part of the lid and flexes to press the circuit board button below. This works quite nicely as there is minimal flex needed to press the button and also provides good tactile feedback of the button press action below. For the LEDs, I came up with this tapering hole design. Each hole leads directly down to each colour LED and the LED light bounces up the shaft. This works surprisingly well. The light is easily visible and each colour nicely separated. This design also has the benefit of being one piece with the lid. For the interior of the base, I designed the geometry to grip the components whilst still allowing easy assembly. And to lock it all together, a single self-tapper screw hole has been designed into the base of the unit. So what problems did I have and what lessons did I learn? As you can see here, it took many iterations to get it to this stage of development. Most of the iterations were making small adjustments to geometry and placement to give the button press a good feel and consistent operation and creating optimal visibility for the onboard LEDs. But there was one issue that drove me crazy. No matter what adjustments I made to my 3D file, the gap at the bottom of the case was always uneven. I shaved bits off here and tweaks there, but nothing I did solved the problem. In 3D space, everything looked perfect, but after printing, the gap was still uneven and tight at one end. Ultimately, I posed a question to Ben as to what he thought could be the cause of the problem, and Ben theorised that the print bed might not be square or level. Now I knew the bed was level as I check it regularly, but then it dawned on me, the lead screws. And sure enough, after checking, the gap on the x-axis carriage was uneven. I had checked and levelled it when first assembling the printer, and done it once again since, but clearly it was out of alignment. So a big lesson learned here was that I needed to calibrate or at least check the lead screws more often. I've since designed a few bits and pieces for the Cocoon Create Touch 3D printer to make things like calibrating and levelling an easier experience, as well as a better part cooling fan. But I'll save all that info for an upcoming video. So what do I have planned for future Talkie Pie case releases? The case you see here is a simple functional product designed to ensure everything fits and works properly. It was always my intention to design a few different fun case options, and I still intend to do this. I'll release those cases on my website once I have the designs completed and ready to go. Just on that, expect to see some changes to my website in the near future. I'll also talk more on that in upcoming videos. Well, that's my Talkie Pie story and it for this video. If you've made it this far, thanks heaps for watching. Definitely consider subscribing for future videos and give this video a like or a dislike. This lets me know if you want to see more videos like this one or not. Have a great day everyone. I'll catch you later.